Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is Saxseed. If I got something for you too. Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. You rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh. Catch! The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mountain in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. What'll it be? What else? What'll it be, Shorty? Anything else for you? Best of luck with all that rampaging. Quality material. Rate you're going. Might last a day. Something on your mind, boy? the word, kid.
So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. Ready yourself, boy! find a cipher. I bet I could figure it out. Look here. Yes, sir. It's some kind of drawing. 
Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map! That's some statue. Who built it, you think? I do not know. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought. We should search them for resources. So, know any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief, and purposeful. Sounds... fun? Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory, and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You... I haven't told a lot of stories, have you? One more for the collection.
dock here. Hey, look! A torch! A torch is built with wood. That is a brazier. A... brazier. Hmm. Looks like there's something written on it. Want me to read it? Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Kvink. <laughs> Show me more folk. Who fought you two? What is that? A spirit. It's talking to us. And it hears you as well. Don't be shy now. You're dead? <laughs> You're very perceptive and reckless. Take caution when lighting these braziers. Sailor and Hellwalkers will swarm to the flames like moths. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. Most are able to move on from this realm. But we, lucky few, are stuck here in Midgard until our affairs are in order. Perhaps you can help them as well. We have no desire to help you, spirit. Ah, but you already have. I only wished to see the sky again. Farewell. not be distracted. So, I guess we should keep an eye out for other spirits. What did I say about distractions? But it sounds like they needed help. They are spirits, boy. Dead things. They have no needs. Only wants. It feels wrong to ignore them. We will get over these feelings. I would have wanted to help them. What was that, boy? Nothing. I thought as much. Another story? One more. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, the stag. 
But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. Hey, it's another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? Boy, over here. Kavegia. Remember the last time I saw something walk these islands that wasn't dead or corrupted? What do you mean? The desolation, child. Plagues this land, growing more severe with each passing winter. Do you know its cause? Not for certain, but I suspect the appearance of the World Serpent, along with the great flood that followed. Many were drowned, myself among them. The dead began to walk not long after. Do you need anything from us? Boy. I only wish to speak to someone again. A wish you have just granted. Thank you. did I tell you about offering help? Don't. Correct. But can't we this just... This is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? I won't seem to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. story. Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. It's really not a story. If the son jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story.
got another story? Very well. There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? Because the boy had always been a thief. And his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but her ear, that's not right. Razor? If you must. Here. Boy. Sir. Gavagia. I've been itching to see him get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple, but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? A bearded one with tattoos? Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well... We can't expect them all to know something useful. Ooh. 
Good find. Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this. Maybe the next one will have more information. Keep your expectations low, boy. Spirits are rarely useful. How did they even exist? When you sever a man from his life, it is not always a clean cut. So you've met other spirits? Yes. Many. What were they like? Annoying. What other stories have you got? One more. There was the story of the mother crab, who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward, in pride, not silently as he always did. But she's a crab too. He should say, sure, I'll look forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, he did say that. That was the story. I got it. We can beach over here. I think this is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Kaveka. who wants something from us. How unexpected. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, Spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or Mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother. But it was never my concern, nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching the peak. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others.
cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. some loot up there. How about one more story? Very well. There is a tale about a woodsman. He asked the trees of the forest for a branch to make a handle for his axe. But instead, the trees gave him a young sapling so they could keep their limbs. The woodsman made his axe, and then he returned and chopped down the oldest trees in the forest. Hmm. Just because trees are old doesn't mean they're smart. Come. Hmm. This is good to know. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. Read it. Uh, these runes read death inside. What is it, dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Vellander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. 
Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Where's a fancy green ring? Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. The Velander Mines is right through these doors. Might as well have a look-see inside, don't you think? 